we are installing a radio on a golf cart. First, we took a piece of hard plastic, put it in here, and cut it out the size of the pocket because it's going back with a dash. Um, we're putting the kill switch on here. That way, the radio will not draw down two individual batteries because it's an electric car. Normally, on the harnesses, you have a red and yellow and a black. Uh, black will be your ground, straight to the batteries. Uh, the red and yellow together will go to the kill switch. And then the other side of the kill switch goes to the positive uh, where 12 volts is. Or if you got a club car like this is 16 volts. It won't burn up the radio, nothing like that. Uh, if you wanted a memory, you would take the yellow wire and hook it straight to the battery as well. But if you don't use it every day, or at least charge it once a week, it will kill the battery. So we just take it, because a lot of our customers come down here for a couple months out of the year and go back home. So we tie the wires together and run into the battery. Um, we cut the speakers in this one. The customer wanted them right here. It's about a five inch round hole. Put it there. And on the other side, done the same thing. We use a big old hole saw for it. Um, that's the kind of radio we put on it. Bluetooth. AM, FM receiver, Bluetooth, got a USB output, MP3, front auxiliary output with input. And this is a club car, 48 volts, so it will withstand 16 volts to the radio. And we're taking an antenna now, we just take it and put the antenna in the dash. Whatever you do, try not to put it around the power wire, wires of the car because when you hit the gas you will hear the interference in the radio so you try to put the antenna wire by itself don't take it and wrap it around none of these here just take it and stick it in the glove box over there keep it like that all right man i'll be up, i'll be updating some more videos hopefully within the next couple weeks stay tuned